Good afternoon. This video is going to serve as a brief instruction on how to use Kahoot and how to edit and utilize some of the features that goes along with it. Before I begin, I'd like to start by showing my lesson plan. This is going to be a third grade lesson on number sense. And here are my questions. All right, so to begin, we need to go to getkahoot.com. Now your students will just go to normaloldkahoot.com. But as an educator, you either need to sign in or sign up for free. In this case, I'm going to sign in because I do have an existing account. As you can see, this is what it will take you to. You can create a new Kahoot, a quiz, a discussion, or a survey. I'm going to go to my Kahoot since I do already have one created. I'm going to hit edit so I can show you some of the features of how to create a quiz. This shows you all the questions you have created. Now, I only have four. You may add questions or you may edit questions. We are going to go ahead and edit a question. And as you can see, you can enter your question. You can set the time limit, award points. You have four answers. And you can add a photo or a video. I'm going to hit next because I am finished with this question. And it takes you back to all the ones you have created. The rest of the process for creating a quiz is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to go hit exit. And instead of hitting edit this time, I'm going to go ahead and hit the title to play the lesson. Now you can just hit play if you so choose, but I'm going to hit the title because that will allow me to preview the lesson. Now as you see, what you see on the left is going to be what you see on the screen as an educator and the student's for example, on a projector. And then on the right hand side is what they see on their device or laptop. So we're just going to hit classic. That is the most common form to do the quiz. And then you're going to hit ready to join. Now, after your students go to kahoot.com, they will be able to enter your game pin that is shown on the screen. Go ahead and hit enter. They will have to put a name or a nickname in. I'm just going to add this as test one. Hit go. And so all your student's name will appear on the screen. Now, if you do not like or think one name is appropriate, you may edit it then. Let's hit start since I am the only player. Here's my title screen with the title. And it takes you to the first question. It'll show the question on the projector first as the question loads on their device. As you can see, I have 30 seconds to answer this question. Here it is for the students to preview. And the answers correspond with the shapes on their device. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the diamond as my answer. And that was correct. It shows the leaderboard of the students of who got it right, who got it wrong, and what they did pick. You hit next. It shows who is in the lead, but at this point we only have one player. Hit next again, and it takes you to the second question. Now we don't need to go through the whole entire quiz because it will just bring us to all the questions themselves. I'm going to go ahead and hit exit. You can exit at any time or you can finish the quiz and it takes you right back to the screen you were on in your account. I hope this video was helpful in how to use Kahoot.